My name is Sarah. Thank you for practicing with me today. I've created this yoga flow with no weight bearing on your hands, wrists, or elbow, um, no weight bearing on your shoulders or collarbone. Um, I created this because I have a fracture in my radial head. Um, so if you have an injury in your hand, wrist, or elbow, this uh, flow will be appropriate. If you have an injury in your collarbone or shoulder, uh, you may need to modify. Um, there's no weight bearing for any of those areas, but there is some movement that may be um, uh, problematic. So uh, please modify if that's the case. Um, and thank you for practicing with me. Uh, let's start to take some deep breaths and um, come into this flow. Come into your body, come into your space. Start to bring your awareness to your body and let go of whatever other uh, distractions you have outside of this practice. Feel the breath in your lungs, in your chest. Come back out. Start to make some movement with your neck. Bring your ear to shoulder. Being aware of your breathing. Feel the sensations in your neck and shoulders as you start to do that. Wake those areas up. Maybe some neck rolls. over one ear, one shoulder, and then the other. And circle sweep your arms up overhead. On an inhale, and exhale, swan dive forward. Let your head hang heavy here. Relax all the muscles in your face. Be heavy and relaxed. Take some more breaths. And on an inhale, come up to a flat back, half lift. And exhale, fold again. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your arms up overhead. Inhale. And step your left foot back to a lunge. And lower your knee down. Tuck your toes under. Take some breaths here. Lean into your hip flexor, making sure your hips are aligned facing forward. Bring your arms to cactus. Open your shoulders up wide. Nice, long, straight back. And inhale, bring your arms together. Exhale, open. Inhale together. Exhale, open. One more time. Inhale. Straighten your front leg and stretch forward, folding over your front leg. Coming back up, lift your arms up, inhale, tuck your toes back to to um, high lunge and step your legs forward, swan dive forward, and three
three more half lifts. Inhale, exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Fold. Inhale, arms up. Step your right foot back. Drop your knee, tuck your toes. Stretch here, move around, whatever feels good. When you're ready, cactus your arms, and this time we'll switch. So exhale, arms together, inhale, open, exhale, together, inhale, open. One more. And straighten your front leg and fold again and stretch. Be aware of your breath. Be patient in this pose. Feel your muscles stretching, opening up. And coming back to a bent front knee, tuck your, your toes in the back and come back up to high lunge. Stepping your feet together and swan dive forward again. Three more half lifts. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Now circle sweep your arms up as you stand and rise again in mountain pose. Take a moment to be patient in this pose. Let your shoulders uh, be wide. Your shoulder blades fall down the, the back, your back fall down at the center of your back and your spine. Arms strong, chest open, shoulders strong and with integrity. And toe heel your feet a little bit wider apart, about hip width distance. And sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Lift your toes up so that your weight is in your heels. And this should uh, protect your knees. Make sure you can see your toes underneath your, in front of your knees um, to keep your alignment safe. And if you feel comfortable here, tuck your tailbone under and you should feel your, your core muscles get recruited. So sit here, be patient with that burn in your legs. A couple more breaths. begin to use your ujjayi breath. So as if you're fogging up a mirror, in through your nose, feel your throat constrict. This helps us really be aware of our breath. And at the end of the day, that's the main goal here with this flow is just to feel our breath in our body. So we're gonna do a little chair flow here. So sweep your arms up as you stand. Inhale, exhale back to chair, lift your toes, tuck your tailbone, exhale, inhale up, exhale, sit back down, two more, inhale up, exhale, sit back down, inhale up, and exhale, sit back down. And with your left leg, you're going to step back again to a high lunge. Take a few breaths here. Be patient again with the burn in your muscles. Make sure your hips are square to the front. 
your chest is straight, your shoulders are open, your upper body is uh, stable with integrity. And on an exhale, hinging from your hips with a flat back, hinge forward until you're at about 45 degrees. And on an inhale, come back up. And we'll do that two more times. Exhale forward, inhale back up. Exhale forward, inhale back up. And now turning your back foot to a 45 degree angle, plant your heel. Make sure your knee on your front foot, on your front leg is in line with your toes and not forward of your toes. So we're in, uh, we've come into warrior one now. Take a couple breaths here. And on an exhale, widen your arms open to warrior two. Modify this as you need to. I feel uh, completely at home in this warrior too, despite the fact that my front arm is not straight. <laughs> it is not, quote, a perfect pose, but there is no such thing. I am getting what I need out of this practice. Flip your palm over and bring your left hand to your low back and reverse warrior over. Lean into your forward leg and feel the bend in your spine. Again, be patient. No hurry with these postures. Now bring your right elbow to right knee, left hand overhead to side angle. Feel a nice stretch in your left side body as you reach up and over. Nice straight line in your spine um, as you're in one single plane here. Now, straightening your front leg as if your body is pressed between two panes of glass. You're going to tip forward to triangle pose. No need to touch the ground. You just want to know uh, bending at your hips. So keep your hips in this um, side orientation. Um, touching the ground does not make the pose better or um, more complete. You're just hinging from your hips here and letting your spine uh, bend to the side. Keep breathing nice and patient with those breaths. And bend your front knee again. Bring your arms up back to warrior two. Arms up, change your stance, um, narrow your stance a little bit, come back to warrior one, and step your feet together, circle sweep your arms up, inhale, and step your left foot back to high lunge, so both feet oriented forward, that's the difference between high lunge and warrior one, so we're just in high lunge now. We'll move to warrior one next. Pull your core in tight. Your upper body should be um, stable and uh, have integrity. No, uh, no dumping into your hips. Nice strong spine and chest, open chest and shoulders. Be aware of your breath. Keep breathing. Nice, patient breath. And turn your back foot out 
carry your stance a little bit and uh, come into warrior one. Again, make sure your knee is oriented over your toes and not coming forward of your toes to protect your knee there. And widen your stance a little bit. Lower your arms, open into warrior two. Bring your weight equally into your legs. So you're gonna feel that burn in your left forward quad. And just be patient with it. Just observe it as you look out over your left middle finger. Focus your patient gaze there. Bring your left hand to your low back. Flip your, I'm sorry, your right hand. Flip your left palm and reach up overhead. Feel the stretch in your left side body. Continue leaning into your left forward leg. Bring your left elbow to left knee, right arm overhead. Now feel that opening in your right side body. And again, think about being between two panes of glass. So you're just in one single plane here. Your, your, your hips are, um, you're not bending from your hips. You're just bending your spine and your hips to the side. And with that same single plane here between two panes of glass, straighten your left leg and lean into triangle pose again. Again, the goal is not to touch the ground, just to open your side body here. Bend your left knee again, come back up to warrior two. And narrow your stance. Turn your hips forward and bring your hands up. Uh, adjust to come back to warrior one. And step your feet together. And we'll do exhale forward fold. Take a few patient breaths here. Be patient as your body starts to warm up and open up. And circle sweep your arms up. Now I recommend turning sideways on your mat here, but for demonstration, I'm going to continue to face forward. So this, uh, this next sequence has some more movement as you're now open and warm and ready for a little extra challenge here. So inhale, bring your arms up and um, widen your stance, turn your toes out, nice wide stance here and you're going to bend down as if you're scooping sunflowers off the ground. So bend your knees, bend your hips, scoop the sunflowers and come back up. Two more. Inhale is exhale as you go down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
and inhale, come back up to star pose. And with your uh, toes still oriented out, bend your knees and sit down. We're gonna do moon flowers now. So make sure your, your toes are pointing out, your knees are oriented over your toes to protect them. And cactus your arms from this deep seated, um, this deep seat, we're gonna come up. Inhale, exhale down. more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And come back up to star pose. And now with a flat back, bend your hips to press or read a wide straddle stretch. So you can do whatever feels good here. You can move side to side. You can stay in, still in the middle, whatever your body is asking for. Um, Give it what it needs here. And just continue to breathe and be aware of your breath. And when you're ready, tee your arms out and uh, with a flat back, from your hip, rise back up, back up to star pose, and we're gonna do that sequence one more time. So sunflowers, exhale down, inhale up, one more, back up to star, lower down to horse or goddess pose, Get comfortable here, wiggle around a little bit, and moon flowers. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, sit back down. And this time, from here, from horse or goddess pose, toe heel your feet in. And if you have the flexibility in your hips, go ahead and sit down in a squat here. Bring your hands to heart center. Um, if you're able to bring your hands in closer to your heart, then you can do that and use your elbows to kind of um, push against your legs. I'm not able to do that, and I certainly can't leverage my elbow, so I'm just going to enjoy this hip opener here. Nice patient breaths, patient with any pain or stiffness you may have in your hips. And again, you can move side to side or be static here. And when you're ready, um, on an inhale, circle sweep your arms up and come back to standing. And step your left foot back, turn your, your toes out, arms up to warrior one. And you're going to, with integrity, step off your back left foot and bring your ankle to your knee. Um, my hips are tight enough that I need to help my foot with my hand, so I'm going to do that. If you don't need that assistance, you can certainly do it on your own. Um, so. With integrity, stepping off your left foot, and I'm just gonna put it, place it on my knee. Hands stay up. If this feels good, you can stay here, or you can continue to sit down. Bring your hands down. Fix your gaze on something steady, something not moving, and just. Uh, melt into this balancing pose. Be patient with your body if your balance is struggling. And lean into this hip opening stretch.
coming back up. Uh, when you take your foot off, bring your knee up. Uh, nice active foot. And then we're going to move straight into airplane. So you're going to bring your foot back and through. Your hands fly back. Palms facing down. Square your hips forward. And also your hips should be parallel to the ground. So not twisted, but parallel. And fly your airplane. Don't land on your injured arm. <laughs> lower your foot back, kind of a narrow stance, both feet pointed forward, and just melt over that forward leg, stretching now, keeping, steering your hips, so you're going to kind of push your left foot forward, right hip back, in order to keep them straight, straight or bent knees here, you should feel a nice stretch in your uh, left, right forward hamstring. Step your feet together, step your right foot back, and we'll go through again. So turn your back foot out to a 45 degree angle, arms up to warrior one. And you're going to do the same thing. So stepping off that right back foot, you're going to bring your right ankle onto your left knee for that figure four stretch. And wherever you went before, um, go there again. So fix your gaze, sit down, lower down, and have some patience in this stretch. Feel the deep opening in your hips here. Again, as you come up, come into staff pose, arms up, and you're going to go straight to airplane pose. So nice active foot, palms down, flying back, hips square to the floor and square forward ahead. control and integrity, lower your right foot down to the ground, narrow stance, both feet pointing forward, and again, we'll do that pyramid stretch, so forcing your left hip back, right foot, right hip forward in order to keep them square, just bend and stretch over that left forward leg. Coming up to standing, step your feet together, couple breaths, little shake, the hard part is over, we've done the standing hard work, now we're going to begin to transition to some prone and supine and seated work. So if it feels good, you can sit down on your heels, um, I like to sit right down on my heels and um, kind of wiggle around a little bit for a bit of a quad stretch. So I'll make a few little circles here as I get 
comfortable on the floor now. Circles each direction. And just take a moment from here. If this doesn't feel good on your knees, please don't do it. You can take a, a cross-legged seat on the floor. Um, if it does feel good, then go right ahead. Um, and let's just take a patient moment and um, come into child's pose. So you're going to bring your forehead to the ground. If this feels good, you can keep your legs like this. If it doesn't, go ahead and widen your knees and then reach forward. And be gentle on whatever uh, injury you're protecting here. So nice patient breaths, patience with your body, with whatever you need out of this practice today. rising up onto your knees. We're going to do camel pose. So I'm going to modify this a bit, um, but placing your hands at your low back, like you're in the back uh, pants pockets. Um, you can tuck your toes for a little more stability. And then you're just going to push your hips forward as you open your shoulders and let your head and shoulders fall back. And when, if you feel strain anywhere in your back or neck, then that's far enough. We're just looking for a little shoulder and chest opening here. And coming back up, go ahead and lower down onto your belly. And rest on one cheek or the other, hands at your sides. And lifting your chin, we're going to do locust or salambasana. So you're going to lift your arms, lift your feet, you're going to lift everything, your head, neck, although you're going to keep your chin tucked under a little bit so there's no sharp bend in your neck um, until your hips are the only part of your body in contact with the floor. So lift toes, hands, shoulders, lift everything up, lift, 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 keep breathing, patience. Last breath, lift a little bit higher and lower down to your other cheek. And we're going to do that one more time. So lifting everything up, breathing, feel those muscles in your back working. Last breath, lift a tiny bit higher, and lower down to opposite cheek. And coming back up to a seated pose. We're gonna do boat pose. So with your knees bent, feet flat on the ground, um, Hands out in front, palms up. You're gonna lift, gonna kind of tilt back onto your uh, sacrum and lift one foot and then the other. Both, if you like, straighten your legs if that feels good. Feel your core working here. Patience with your core. And breathe. You can bring one leg down, the other. And just try to hold with integrity here.
and lower down. And with your left foot straight out in front of you, cross your right foot over your knee. And if that feels good, you can bend your left leg and twist here. You're gonna take your left arm onto your right knee. And without torquing your spine, just kind of gently continue the twist here. Look over your right shoulder. Let this twist cleanse and wring everything out in your spine. Lengthening your spine. Inhale, exhale. And bring your hands or hand to your just to the left side of your right foot and you're gonna stand up and pivot and you should be able to sit right back down in the opposite twist and now you're gonna twist the other way and I'm just gonna not lean on my elbow here Go ahead and release that twist and bring the soles of your feet together to butterfly pose. Um, again, you can, I'm not going to lean on my elbow, but you can take hold of your ankles here and lean your forearms along your calves to deepen this stretch um, and just fold forward as is comfortable for you. back up to seated. Bring your feet together out in front of you. I'm just going to turn to the side so I can show this. Um, you're going to lower down onto your back for bridge. So feet together, arms at your sides, and bring your feet in near your hips. And uh, when you're ready, without leaning into your arms, um, lift your hips so your weight is on your shoulder blades. You can walk your shoulder blades underneath you. you. Just lift your hips higher, root into the soles of your feet. You should feel this in your back. Maybe you feel a stretch across your, the front of your hips. And just lift higher, push harder down into your feet. slowly lower back down and coming back up to seated bring your feet straight out in front and wiggle around so your uh, your sit bones are directly on the floor and with straight legs um, you know with uh, strength and integrity in your life they should be you know feet flexed and engaged um, bending from your hips, just lean and stretch over your legs. You can see I'm making whatever modifications I need around my arm and you can feel free to do that with whatever um, your body needs.
go ahead and take, go ahead and sit back up, and um, now is a good time to take any additional poses, postures that you feel your body is craving, that you need um, in order to get to a nice, peaceful savasana medica meditation. I'm going to do waterfall um, or legs up the wall. Um, sometimes I do it um, just with a block or with my hands under my hips, but given I can't get my hand under there, I am just literally going to do legs up the wall today. So, scoot your hips in close to the wall. Lie back. And just enjoy this inversion. Let everything drain out of your legs. Hands can be wherever is comfortable for you. Just let gravity do its job here as you continue to breathe and be patient. We will move now to Savasana. So this is your chance to meditate, um, to clear your mind, be fully present. This is what all the poses and the postures were preparing you for. The um, original yogis, uh, all the physical practice, all the poses that we've done, they we're just doing it so that they could get comfortable and sit longer in a deeper meditation. And so um, this is the real cherry on the ice cream sundae. Um, so now that you've given your body everything it needs so it's not distracted or wiggly, you can lie back um, or sit, whatever feels comfortable for you for a final meditation. and. So as you begin to lie back and get comfortable, you can have your knees bent uh, or straight, palms down or up, hands at your sides, hands on your belly, hands on your heart, whatever feels comfortable for you today. Eyes open or closed, I encourage you to have them closed so you can really be in your body. And if you're struggling to meditate, just watch the breath going in and out of your body, just observe it, just be aware of it. Um, you can do a scan of your body, start at the tips of your toes, your ankles, your calves, your knees, what does everything feel like, what sensations do you have, nothing to be concerned about or even think about, just observe it and move on up to your quads, your groin, your hips, your belly your chest, your shoulders, your upper arm, your elbows. I'm going to send my elbow a little extra love today. Your wrists, your hands, and your fingertips. Back up to your shoulders, your neck, your mouth, your throat, your nose, and your eyes, ears, and the top of your head. Just scan your body and it can be that quick and you can do it again or go back to your breath or watch the colors on the inside of your eyes if they're closed. Whatever lets you get rid of whatever distracting thoughts, whatever stress you have outside of this practice, this is your chance to let that go and just be in your body, be in your physical being.
your eyes so close. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take some deeper breaths. Some gentle movement. And if it feels good, roll onto one side or the other. And slowly come up to seated. You can open your eyes. And take a gentle seat. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope that my injury has given me a tool to share something with you that could be helpful. Um, and I hope that this practice is calming and gives you some patience with whatever injury or whatever it is that you're um, experiencing right now. Namaste.